Every day, America's 11 million emergency responders unselfishly risk their lives to safeguard our country from terrorist, man-made, and natural events. These responders are the nation's first line of protection and deserve the highest quality training in the world. The Center for Domestic Preparedness, located in Anniston, Alabama, provides quality response training. As part of the National Integration Center of the National Preparedness Directorate, the Center for Domestic Preparedness, or CDP, is a vital artery for the Department of Homeland Security's Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA coordinates the federal government's role in preparing for, preventing, mitigating the effects of, responding to, and recovering from all domestic disasters, whether natural or man-made, including acts of terrorism. While offering mass casualty incident training, the CDP is the Department of Homeland Security's only federally chartered weapons of mass destruction training center. The threats faced by emergency responders are diverse, complex, and deadly. The CDP's interdisciplinary resident and non-resident training courses are tailored to suit the needs of the response and healthcare communities by promoting a greater understanding among a broad spectrum of 10 emergency response disciplines. These disciplines include emergency management, emergency medical services, fire service, governmental administrative, hazardous materials, health care, law enforcement, public health, public safety communications, and public works. The heart and soul of the CDP is its instructional staff. Known for their real-world experience, the staff is carefully selected from the nation's leading emergency response instructors, with the majority having real-world experience at events like 9-11, the Oklahoma City bombing, and Hurricane Katrina. It makes you realize that they know what they're talking about. They're not taking the information out of a book and then regurgitating it to the classroom. Uh, they're taking information that they've learned through trial and error throughout the years, and then that's what they're giving to you. So it, it makes you realize that the information that you're getting is, is more than something that you're just going to get from somebody that's putting letters in a book. They want you to succeed. They want you to take back to your community and succeed. And they make themselves available even after you leave. They're available to you before you get here, they're available while you're here, and they're available after you leave. Whatever you put on there, got to be 300. Where else can you get that? I've been to five courses here at Anniston now, and I find that every one of their instructors are very knowledgeable individuals, and every one of these individuals I'm highly impressed with. These individuals know their subjects, they research their subjects, they consistently train on their subjects. The CDP has a well-deserved reputation for realistic, hands-on, scenario-driven training. The CDP's low student-to-instructor ratio guarantees responders receive quality, personalized instruction. The instructors make you feel so comfortable throughout the entire process that you don't have that level of anxiousness or nervousness when you put on the PPE. Go ahead, go back on there, big red knob, 12. And they walk you through step one, through step two, step three, so that when you actually put on the gear, you're not really nervous about it because you've gotten comfortable just by them giving you the information the entire time. By having a good student to instructor ratio, we're able to do that, get involved in these uh, discussions with the students and allow feedback so that we can have a two-way conversation that uh, ultimately results almost in a perfect learning scenario. Before you and take that respirator off over though, how do you normally handle it? The quality of the training is excellent because it's uh, very relevant and it's hands-on. You actually get to do uh, and meet the course objectives by participating in the scenarios. The simulation feels more real because you're actually in the suit and performing the task that you would be performing during the actual scene. What they call the hands-on training is as real as real can get. Many courses at the CDP culminate with a day of hands-on exercises at the center's COBRA training facility, the nation's only site where emergency responders can train in a real toxic chemical agent environment. I feel confident in my equipment and my abilities after going through training like this because I've been in it. I know more about it and I'm not afraid of it anymore. 
as long as I have the proper gear, I'll be all set. And what it does is it gives you the confidence to know that if you do what you're asked to do or what you're supposed to do in that environment, that you will survive and you can help others to survive. The CDP's Noble Training Facility is the country's only hospital facility dedicated to training healthcare professionals in disaster preparedness and response. The 170,000 square foot training venue provides a realistic training environment for mass casualty decontamination, treatment, and management. It is time that healthcare integrates throughout the community, not just the healthcare community, but throughout the working community, government, law enforcement, all first responder agencies. Once an active U.S. Army hospital, today Noble serves as a first-class healthcare training facility that provides responders the unmatched opportunity to participate in simulated healthcare exercises. The environment we have with the, the scenarios that really try to simulate the events that would happen hit them with that realization that you know, I need to decide faster or we need to have better plans in place. When we talk about preparedness, what do we, we when work with hospitals and other health care organizations to look at how can you become NIMS compliant? How can you meet all of the regulatory requirements and look at and make a statement and, and carry the message back to your organization that disaster preparedness is a priority. The CDP also partners with several federal agencies to provide specialized all hazards training. In collaboration with the USDA's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, the CDP designed the Agricultural Emergency Response Training, or AGERT course, that provides all hazards techniques and procedures training for agriculture responders. The practical exercise was fantastic because it took all the little details that we spent time on all week in class and we brought them out here and then we had to combine them all together and take part in a real incident and come in and leave and, and do all of the technical aspects of it all in a single setting.